Okay. Now what? I don't know whether we won or not. We better save that. <laughs> this thing is, it's a very nice thing, but it, that thing loosens up. Tighten that son of a bitch. There we go. Let's see if that works. And then that goes here. Okay. What do you do? Manier's disease. Manier. Meniere's disease. Somebody just called today with this problem. Affecting the inner ear, which impacts the individual's hearing ability and, and bodily balance. And we gotta, there you are. So forget Meniere's disease. You're on your own. Okay. Mike is on. Oh, you got a new keyboard. Mike is on. Ha happy Friday. Let's see your life. Um, let's see. Who are my stars today? Um, Lily was one of my stars. She did really great in CVS today. Really good. Um, Lily was my star. June did really well. Who's doing well? Uh, Lily and June. Oh. Uh, we have dogs. Yes, we have. We have a few dogs ready to go with partners. Pete, Danica, Sting. Miles and Elvis are almost there too. So it's exciting. Yeah, Pete was another star. Pete's always a star. So that's nothing new. Who else? 
Miles actually, Miles and Elvis both did really well today too. Elvis and I went to Walmart. Yes, Lily and June are sisters. Part of the bugs. Hey, they're cutie cutie. Can't get her away. Let's see, what else did I do? Exciting Friday. with my star. Ella is doing really well. Ah. She's a little shy, but she's doing really well. What's up, bud? What's up? Chaos. Did the puppy scare you away? Are you just going to torment him? <laughs> Is the weather... Um, no, the weather's, the weather's been pretty good. So... I'll take it. Um... It was warm... Er, today. Warmer. So all the snow is melting, which is exciting over it. I wanted to just be done. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep back. Good girl. Lady's always great. Um, yes, a lot of people comment on the dogs. Always. Everywhere we go. Always. Um, two things I like. Um, well, that's, I don't know. That's tough. Just two things. very rewarding when the dogs graduate. Makes it all worth it. But it is fun. Two things. Yeah. So it's always fun. It's fun to watch their personalities grow as they get older. And as they get through the, into the training, you get they each, they're all very different. They all have their own personalities and their own quirks. And it's always it's fun to observe and figure out. And it's really fun when they start to get the training and really grasp it. I think Mayhem is really cute. She's a cutie cutie. No, kids typically don't approach the dogs. Um, usually, like, their parents um, are good, and they tell them that they can't pet service dogs. I did have someone, a small kid, come around the corner and come running at me in the dog once. And I was just like, no, don't pet my dog. <laughs> so, but for the most part, there's a lot of people that will see us, and they'll, you know, explain to their kids that they can't pet and distract the dogs especially because they're in training. Oh, I'm so glad that Josh and Chris are doing well. 
I appreciate all the updates. Oh, I love Nicholas, so I'm very happy for him and Josh. Um, yeah, when they yeah they remember us definitely. Yeah. When they come back, it's which is always fun. Cause it's a, it's kind of sad when they leave. It's bittersweet. I mean, it's obviously more exciting, but sometimes I miss them. Hey, Oz, what's up? Can't figure it. Do you want to get by? I'm trying to probably get out to the You can hey. squeeze. Yes, come here. Yes. Like you want to get through there? You can make she it. Wants, no, she wants him out of there. Oh. She wants. She very clearly wants. Comfortable. Uh, what? Big Bentley. Poor Bentley. He's such Very a nice. good He's, boy. He is good. You ready to take over, Carlene? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Good night, everyone. Okay. I guess she said everything that was supposed to get said. All right. Here we go. Harold and Wanda. Oh. Where would we be without Harold Wanda? You'll see Chaos standing there looking at Bentley because Bentley is in the preferred couch and she would like to have Bentley moved. She's waiting for Wanda on that. Nah. Well, if, I, if I have Bentley moved, she'll get up oh, in that yeah. chair. Yeah. Because she was already staring at me, saying, nye, 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 nye. Mom, This is from Linda, yep, Victor, New York. I never knew there was a Victor, New York, but they do now. No, I don't remember, but at any rate. Victor, New York. That's a new place. Linda. That's a funny, that's a nice little card, isn't it? Hmm. Please accept this donation in honor of Carolyn's birthday. Thank you for all you do. Linda Fidel? Isaacson Fidel? Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Turk Hill Road in Victor, New York. Area code 1-4. That's not too far away from Newburgh. Newburgh is one, two. What do you do with it? There it is. You're going to get make me get it down. My shoulders are not going very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I wish I could tell you about why my shoulders are sore, but I can't. I can't. I can't until next October. Until next yeah. October? Man. Well, we get the calendars out. Yeah. Oh. They had me doing funny calendar things. And, oh, my word. My shoulders are killing me. They're killing me. Okay, Daniel. From Georgia. Okay. Huh. Okay, we'll put that in the pot. Let's see what Linda does with it. Here you go. Okay, come on. Go see And here we have Stephen and Paul Wenzel. Sterling Mass. 
Wenzel. I wonder if they're related to the Wenzels in Linfield. Wouldn't that be funny? They used to live next to, poor people used to live next to me in Linfield. Um. And I was terrible. I was terrible. I never cut the grass. I had too many animals. They ate their bushes over the, they reached over the fence and ate the lilacs. And, It was bad. I was a bad neighbor. Finally, I got thrown out of town, which was fine. Empire, now what? What? Linda, where'd she go? Thank you for doing business with Empire Residential. This is written confirmation of the authorization you gave during the telephone call for a one-time debit from the account. No, I didn't. 624.51 payable to Empire Residential. The payment is effective. No, your authorized check service to a debit return check If you've authorized a change to the order information for this that letter, please ignore this kind of any information. What? This is that's what was that for? Nothing. I had nothing to do with Empire today. I called Home Advisor to okay. get the floor on the were you here? No. Well I did. Were I called Home Advisor. Home? They've had ads all over the place. Come and solve your problems. I thought, oh, great, put the floor down. I've wanted a floor in there for four years. At any rate, Empire called me about it from that call to Home Advisor, yes. and they could not come out or something. It's a tiny job. <laughs> so the next thing I know is I got a call from Luna Flooring, and they sent a guy out. And he measured it and took it, and it was supposed to be $600 worth. And I gave him a check for $600 and change, very close to this number. And uh, they're supposed to put it in so far in two storms, so, so they put it off twice. So already they're carrying my check for two weeks here. I'm not happy about that. But, you know, they did have a logical reason to put it, put it off. And I just happened to notice on my checking account today that there are two checks for 620 some odd dollars. And that's this empire today. Unbelievable. I thought Linda was on the phone with someone. She was. About it. It's this outfit. Yeah, so they get the Oh boy, are they going to catch it. Yeah. They're going to catch it on me, my account. And we have Olive from South Hamilton. Well, of all the nerve, I, I've already called the bank and said, wait a minute, this is bad. This is Inca and Jeremy from Beverly for Olive's birthday. Huh. That's a nice idea. Yeah. I like that idea. There's two checks. From, they had, apparently had a birthday deal. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much. And when Linda comes in, catch her. And make sure somebody doesn't strangle herself. What are you doing? And then we have the oil bill. So I dropped off oil. The purple building, that's right, that'd be the barn. Four hundred and sixty-nine dollars for the heat in the barn. Seems to me they filled it last week, didn't they? In the middle of that storm because the generator was running on that too. Okay, here's the Mayo Clinic health letter. I haven't had that before. Get better sleep without us sleeping. 
What the hell? Oh dear. Well, that's going to be... I don't know whether I want to read all this or not. Oh, I, I didn't read much of it. All I know is it's $1.97 a copy. It's pretty funny the way it's written here. Huh. I'm not sure. Um, it's an awful lot. I don't think so. I am thinking I'm doing fine. Next problem. This is from... Stephanie... Harp, Tarpon Springs, Florida. I'll just cut a little tiny hole here, maybe. And then I can get in there. Okay. Here we go. Oh my word, we got some funny things in here. Oh. Okay. Let me glue them in. There's some fire starters. And we have some other toys to play with. Shake that, make sure that's empty. And we have an envelope. You can check that one too, make sure that one's empty. Hi, Carlene. Enclose is $5, $15, you're right, for one chicken brick and postage for the fun fun. I gave away the two monkey fists that I had, so I'd like two more, and a pen and poker chips. Also, if I might have a couple business cards, that would be great. Thank you for all you do. At Crazy Acres, it's such a joy to watch every day. Keep up the good work. Stephanie and Larry, Cropper over. Also enclosed are poo pickers and self-addressed envelope for the requested items. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Okay. This has got to go here, and these go here, and that all goes there, and they go there. And this is the envelope with a little bit of lint on it. Now, how that happened? Okay, it's fine. Okay. We need some more of those made up, I think. There. You can do that. What's the matter? I need the bag, the bag full. There we go. One, one, one. Well, we need to make more up for the run out. And pens, you did, you take a pen, you can have a pen. And then we have a couple. Oh dear. Oh dear. Monkey fist. What else was I supposed to put in here? For oh, business card. business cards. They're in here. And we'll put one of these in here for good luck. A sustaining member. I just found those. I'm going to have to seal that up. We're going to put that up there, huh? Okay. Don't give me a chance to fight with this thing. See, this doesn't, this, this, this is not put together right here. Because I don't care how you do that. Well, there we go. That's how. That puts those teeth forward. Okay. 
Learn something new every day. <sighs> Learn something new every day. on here. Put it on there. We got it. Okay, so that goes up here. I better make some more monkey fists. I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, next problem. Did you get this one? Uh, does this need the chicken brick department? Oh, yeah. Nice. For a chicken brick, they got it. Okay, we got it. Okay, this is going to be something different. This is, I was hoping I'd get this when Bud was here, but what the heck? Can't win them all. I've already got a couple things for Bud that I can't understand. I don't know enough about electricity. I'm about to learn. From John James. No, I don't think we had a John James, but... From John James. Maybe this is not what I thought it was. You better. She's going to jump oh, and go know. over the thing and hurt herself. Look out. Get out of the way. Oh, jeez. Get her out of the way before she jumps. Call from Creator Arnold. Oh, God. Hi. You just boarded the bus. Okay. I will be there in 12, 12 and a half minutes. Okay. Okay, I, I do know that. Okay, thanks. Bye. Gwen is on the bus. Okay. Don't let me forget this now. I gotta get out of here. This is just paper. Well, I don't know what this is. I don't think. I haven't got anything in it. And this is what I have. It was from John James, so it was not for me. Oh, okay. That's the very last thing I ordered, but it's not fragile by a long shot. That's something I ordered. What the heck? I really don't care what it costs. I got these because I have some wiring coming to play with, which I eventually will give to Dawn probably. But it's a double pole switch because I have never understood how you run the wires from there to there. If you're going to turn on that light from there and you can turn it off from there and on from there and off from there. I don't understand that. So that's why I have bought these things and we will be playing with those when the rest of the stuff arrives. Right? means we probably ought to start just a box with I don't know what we're, that red we're gonna need we're gonna need more than well and put it in the basket for now here we go that's all we got this basket yeah are you gonna do questions or are you gonna get Gwen? sure don't let me forget to go get Gwen okay did Linda did not come back yet right that's the other thing I mustn't forget you're going to do questions. That's going to stay there. And that's going to stay there. And I lost my drinking water. Left it someplace. Okay.
Okay, go. Is there ever a time that labor would be induced, like humans? Ah, uh, not by me. Mummy nature is much better at it than I. Um, tape gun. When slapping the gun on a box, the clear piece goes back to cut safety features. You're right, it does. It um, does. I mean, when you cut it by hand, you got a problem, but I can figure that out. Victor, New York is not too far from Rochester, New York, and close ah. to Fairport, where Princess Ruckus and her partner used to live. Ah, okay. I never pay until the work in my house is completed to my satisfaction. It always gets done right. Took my poodle puppy to first puppy class last night. There was a solid gray Great Dane in the class. Guess who took a major liking to my 10 pound <laughs> poodle? The Dane, of course. It was fun watching the Dane letting my pup fly through her legs. Love the Dane. <laughs> the, uh, the, the solid gray probably was a blue because the burrow puppies are the great puppies that are gray uh, Danes that are in the Harlequin bloodlines are gray and black. They do have some black through them. But the ones that are solid gray are um, those are probably the blue ones. That certainly does sound like a scam. Uh, the guy with the the guy the, the guy that's going to put the floor down the, the, uh, this was very weird. To send a letter that says I'm stealing six hundred dollars from you is very weird. Um, anyone heard how Hayden now Kevin is doing? He went to Ohio. Where did he go? I'm not sure. The guy in Ohio is doing very well. A while back, you got a bill from Dr. Brian for a progesterone test on A or both of the donkeys. Did you ever get those results? I did. They were both very high. What does that in mean? In the 30s. I've forgotten exactly. The only other progesterone I was familiar with was under, a, under six or something. So it was a very large number. And that was from the painted lady and the brown one down there. What does it mean? Pregnant as opposed to not pregnant. Well, I was guessing Painted Lady was pregnant, but... <laughs> that, she's got an know. awful big tumor in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like that's it for questions. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Good night. Shut us off. Let me have that, see that letter again.